Oh, Velma, Velma, Velma. One of the worst rated television shows of all time. Currently the worst rated animated series of all time. That's something to really, really be proud of because that is hard to do. I mean, you're beating out colossal juggernauts like Santa Inc., to get that title. So it is very impressive. What a legacy Mindy Kaling has left behind for herself. This show is a train wreck. We are on the last legs of this show. Currently, for this series, we're sitting at 7 and 8. Those just came out today. And then, of course, next week we have the final episodes with Family, woman, and the brains of the operation. And then this is over with. Unless they give it a season two, <laughs> which it sounds like they're going to do. Oh, I'll, I'll miss the show somewhat. I'll somewhat miss it because it, it provided me with a lot of content. It's the show that's kept on giving. It's just kept on giving. Like this new batch of episodes. They have to wonder, like, what's episode seven going to dig in on now? What is the, the new woke topic for the show? And I do find it quite funny that this show wanted to be so woke because the audience that they wanted to bring in hates the show. So really, like, this is a show for nobody. The woke audiences don't love it. The audiences, like, so there's... Like, half of your audience, you've already alienated half of the people that you could get to come on by, like, get to watch the show by making it so woke. And then the audience that you were relying on, mostly Joe Biden voters, uh, all of them don't like the show either. So what are you going to do here? The show is a disaster. I can't wait till we get solid numbers for this series. I'm so excited. Not for the first batch. Because the first batch of episodes will probably be a higher number, and everyone's going to celebrate. Oh, my God, it's such a hit. Yeah, chuds. Take that. And then we'll get the second week's numbers, and it'll be a colossal failure. And that's going to be hilarious, because then we'll get to laugh at all the people that celebrated that little early win, just like they did with Lord of the Rings, which turns out couldn't even command a spot in the top 15 <laughs> series, streaming series. I'll go over that in a minute. But now in episode seven, Velma decides to dress up as a man and finds out life is full of privilege and ease for a man. You know, all those men that are out there working construction and sewage and collecting garbage, all that stuff that keeps society running. What's a man good for, huh? You know, they only keep our, keep our society going by doing all the jobs nobody wants to do. How many women do you see working in a sewer? When's the last time you saw a woman throw your garbage in the back of a truck? When's the last time you saw a woman building a skyscraper? And I'm not trying to throw them down, okay? I love women. But I'm just saying they don't typically do jobs like that. So what would we do without people doing those nasty jobs? I'm just saying. I, I think this whole this whole rhetoric of throwing men into the shitter that's been going on for the past decade now in media and in our culture is sick because men do a lot. In fact, they're somewhat underappreciated, and it's kind of bullshit, which is, I'm sure, a factor in a lot of those suicide numbers. But anyway, in this new episode, she dresses up like a man and discovers the life of privilege that men get. Everyone trusts and helps men. Then she somehow uses a urinal. Huh. That's interesting. Let's take a look at this clip that Despero, uh, who's been doing great reviews of this series, by the way, uh, played here. There's something funny about you. Not LOL funny, but more thoughtful and well-observed, like a female-driven comedy. There's oh, ha, 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 ha. So funny. So funny. That's hilarious. 
<laughs> this show is such a disaster. I love it. I love how much of a disaster this show is. Then look at this. It's all this. This is crazy. So this is the unused concept art for the Scooby-Doo hipster Scooby-Doo gang that Velma was going to do. Unused concept art from HBO Max's Velma showcases more buff hipster members of Mystery Inc. They look nothing like the 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 Scooby Doo gang, which probably would have been a better route to go and differentiate itself from the original series, but they decided they wanted to make them as close as possible as they could to the original characters, furthermore enraging the fan base of this series. But this looks awful, awful. He's trying to make Fred look more jockish. He look he looks more like Flash Thompson there. I don't know what that Daphne is. What the hell is that Shaggy? And then Velma. She looks like Kim Possible or something. So this was what they were going to originally go with. Further showing that, uh, here's more right here. Like I think, this is funny, this just shows you they, they had no intention of making this anything like Scooby-Doo. Somebody probably, this is probably what they were going to go with. And somebody said, look, uh, you need to make them look more like Scooby-Doo, even though this is clearly not a Scooby-Doo show. This is Velma's hair over here. I like how she's got ripped jeans in the one. And then they toned down Fred's muscles. Yeah. <laughs> Keep making shit like this, HBO, please. But anyway, I want to touch on this too. I don't really want to do a full video on it, but I think it will be fun to at least look at the huge powerhouse that is Rings of Power. Failed to break into the top 15 streaming programs of 2022. Isn't even most streamed Prime Video series. All of the, all of the defending that this show got, and they praised the show. Remember when they got the first two weeks of ratings and they never dropped it, never talked about any of the weeks after that? They focused primarily on that first week. That was because that's the only week where people tuned in. After that, everyone jumped off of this series because it sucks. It's one of the worst shows I've ever seen. And this kind of is a nice little cap to how bad this show was. So this comes from Nielsen. And this is probably one of the better ways to look at ratings. Because they, they aren't, this isn't coming from Amazon themselves or any other shill. Like This is based on hard data from them. And this is the top 15 programs overall. Most streamed shows. The Simpsons at 15. Cobra Kai at 14. Heartland at 13. Wednesday at 12. Wednesday. Supernatural at 11. Seinfeld at 10. Gilmore Girls at 9. Bluey at 8. Criminal Minds at 7. Grey's Anatomy at 6. And Canto at 6. And Canto at 5. Ozark at 4. Chameleon at three, NCIS at two, and Stranger Things at number one. You don't even have House of the Dragons on there, which is surprising because that show is great. But it's not even on there. Then we have this top 10, 15 streaming programs, originals. So these are new shows. Stranger Things, Ozark, Wednesday, Cobra Kai, uh, whatever that show is, Virgin River, Dahmer, Love is Blind, Inventing Anna, The Crown, The Boys, Great British Baking Show, The Umbrella Academy, The Last Kingdom, or Kingdom, and then finally, at number 15, The Rings of Power. I don't know, House of Dragon isn't on there either, which is interesting. I wonder if it's because it's an older show, but then you have the boys on there, so I don't know. That's interesting. But overall, Rings of Power not on there. Surprised House of Dra House of the Dragon is not on this list. I'm actually kind of sad that it's not. But the juggernaut that we were told Rings of Power is not on the list, which doesn't shock me at all because that show is dog shit. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about all this in the comments. Also, if you would please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. Check out my Rumble and Locals, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my Locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If 
you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube. They'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals.